was a, uh, a long time coming for you, something you worked for, obviously a big win for you, but just talk about the overall experience. We hear about you know, Octagon jitters and all those things. Talk about the experience and, and how you felt. Did it live up to what you've been hoping for? No, it was, a, it was an incredible experience. You know, I think I took the first half of the week just to kind of take it all in and be really excited, be a fan of the whole thing, you know. And, um, but once after weigh-ins, you know, I was smiling and all that stuff. But after weigh-ins, I flipped the switch and just went into work mode, you know. But uh, tonight was a, kind of what I thought it was going to be. You know, we were, had a three weeks to get ready for this fight. So we kind of wanted to put together a game plan, but also just get out there and just have fun and fight. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the whole experience. Everybody here is super professional. Uh, the first day I got here, I felt like I didn't feel like a new guy. You know, everybody treated me like I was supposed to be here. So it's been a, a, a smooth transition. So I do want to ask you, watching last night what Eddie Alvarez was able to accomplish, what did that mean to you? Did it, did it, did it inspire you at all? Did it mean something to you? What do you, what do you think? Yeah, definitely, man. I, I'm a guy that I want the best for everybody, regardless of if you fight in my, my weight class or whatnot. Um, I get so excited for people that when they accomplish their goals and things like that, you know, so to see him get out there and be able to accomplish a goal that he set for himself, you know, of course you get excited for that, you know. It's a positive thing. So uh, I saw him earlier today before the fights, and I congratulated him and, uh, you know, wish him best of luck in, re in regards to defending the title. And, um, you know, I, I'll definitely be working my way to get to him, you know. And you may know, you know, attempt to hide the fact that you believe you could be a champion in the UFC. How quickly, after tonight, what you were able to accomplish, how quickly do you want to get to that spot? As quickly as possible, you know. There's, we have a very small window in this sport, you know. There's no, like, hanging out, you know. You don't want to just be a face in the crowd. So I definitely am going to be doing my best to get on the fast track to a title, you know. But uh, right now, I'm getting, I'm getting married next week. So right now, I'm flipped over and uh, let's go get married and go on a honeymoon. So when I get back from all this stuff, I'll get back into the career and trying to get to the title and things like that. Thanks, Will. You know, Will, you obviously train an American top team, phenomenal team out there. Your teammate, Gus Saporia, is also in the lightweight division. You're probably a little bit in front of you right now in terms of rankings. I mean, what kind of discussions have you guys had about now? No, that I won't here? fight my teammate. No, I know that, but I mean, like, what, what, you know, obviously, what kind of discussions have you had? Because you guys, you know, are both gunning for the same thing, obviously, right now. No, I won't fight my teammate. There's, there's, no, there's no discussions. You know, I'm, I, this is my first fight. That's what I've been focused on. He's helped me prepare for this fight. I help him prepare, prepare for his fights. He's been an incredible friend of mine since I've been an American top team. Um, I'm truly blessed to have him as a friend and as a teammate. So uh, I'll never ever think about competing against him or the idea of it. Um, you know, that's just how it is, you know. And, and now that you are here, you know, you finally got this first fight out of the way. I mean, how active do you want to be? I mean, you were, unfortunately, we all know the story. You were kind of on the sidelines a lot, you know, with your, with, with your last job. Uh, how active do you want to be? I know you're getting married, obviously, but I mean, is that kind of a hope now that they can get you, you know, three fights, four fights a year? Is that kind of the hope? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to stay, you got to, you got to keep working to get to the title. You know, you can't just be hanging out and hoping that something happens. You know, I'm not that type of guy. Um, one thing that people always know about me, I'm a workhorse. Um, I want the title, but I also want to work and complete, uh, compete, excuse me. But uh, yeah, when I get back, I'll sit down with my coaches and we'll figure out what they want me to do. Um, whatever my coaches tell me that they want me to do, I do it. And uh, that's just how I operate. And that's how I think I've continued to find, to find success It's just, listen to my coaches who support me and point me in the right directions and we'll move forward.